Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to look at five practice problems to prepare you for the ASAB mathematical knowledge portion of the military entrance exam. These are practice problems specifically designed to focus on fractions. There are so many problems with fractions and they're a little tricky, so make sure you have paper and pencil out in front of you. Pause the video, do the problem before I do it. Unpause the video and see how I do it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What is the sum of one quarter and two fifths? A couple of things here. First thing, you got to decode this sentence. Sum means to add. So that means I have to add one quarter and two fifths. The rule for adding and subtracting fractions is that bottom number has to be the same. So I got to convert these two fractions so that the bottom number is the same. The way I'm going to do that is I am going to multiply it by a factor of 1 so I don't change the value of it. So I'm looking for the least common multiple. What is the smallest number that 4 will go into? And 5. That number is going to be 20. So I have to multiply this bottom by 5. That's going to give me a 20 on the bottom. And then I'm going to do that over here to get a 20 on the bottom. That's kind of what I want. However, I can't just multiply by 5. It's going to change all the value. So I can only multiply by 1 so as not to affect the value. 5 divided by 5 is 1. I am multiplying by 1. Doesn't change it. 5 times 1 is 5. Then how do I get a 5 to be a 20? I have to multiply by 4 over 4. This is equal to 1. It's not going to change the value. That is going to give me 8 over 20. 2 times 4 is 8. 5 times 4 is 20. Now I have that common denominator. All I do is I add across the top, keep the bottom the same. So I keep that common denominator. Answer is 13 20ths. Answer C. Hopefully you got that one. Okay, moving on to number two right here. This one's a subtraction as well. A little bit of decoding of the words. Subtract one third from 5, 6. So I am starting at 5, 6. Then I subtract one third from that. Adding and subtracting, I need a common denominator again. That common denominator is going to be a 6. I multiply this by a factor of 1. Doesn't change the value of my term, but it gives me a 6 in the denominator. Now I have 5, 6 minus 2, 6. I have that common denominator. I subtract across the top. 5 minus 2 is 3. Keep the common denominator as 6. That's the correct answer. However, I have to reduce it. I'm looking for a number that will go into 3 and a number that will go into 6. Well, 3 will go into here one time. 3 will go into here twice. So 3, 6 is correct, but it is reduced to 1 half. Correct answer, answer C right here. You can see why it's so important to have your multiplication tables perfectly dialed, because you're looking for multiples here, multiples here. You're doing that a lot. OK, number three, multiply 3 eighths by 4 ninths. Multiplication is actually one of the easier than addition and subtraction. I do not need a common multiplier a common denominator. I just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. That's it. If I want to, and I could do this now or after I am done, I can reduce like I did here. I'm looking for things in the numerator, the top, and the denominator that will cancel. 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 9 three times. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 8 two times. I am reduced now. I multiply across the top 1 times 1, multiply across the bottom 6. That's it. Correct answer is answer B. I don't have to do that reducing before. I could do it afterwards. If I were to do that, I would do 3 times 4, 12, 8 times 9, 72, and you could see that's one of the answers. It is a correct answer, but it is not in simplest form. So now I'm looking for numbers that go into here and into here. 
Uh, four will go into here three times. Four goes into here 18 times. Then three goes into here one time, three goes into here six times, giving me the same reduced fraction. Okay, let's move on to the last couple right here. Again, pause the video and do the problems before I do them. Okay, divide two sevenths by three fifths. So two sevenths is being divided by three fifths. Division's not hard, but it is a little tricky. The rule on division is you keep this number the same. You turn this into multiplication. So this division becomes multiplication by the reciprocal, meaning I flip this over, so I turn it over. So the rule for division is multiplying by the reciprocal. Again, I'm going to look up here and see if there's anything to cancel. Anything that'll go into two, no, five, there's nothing that'll reduce or cancel, then I just multiply across the top, 10, multiply across the bottom, 21. I'll double check one more time to see if I could reduce. There is no number that goes into both of those. Therefore, the correct answer is answer B right there. Okay, last problem number five here. Which of the following fractions is equivalent to 6 tenths? Well, this is just a reduction problem. What number goes into here and into here? You don't have to get the biggest one, um, just any, and then you keep reducing down. Two will go into here three times. Two goes into here five times, giving me three fifths. Correct answer, answer B, right there. Okay, five quick problems to prepare you for fraction problems on the ASVAB mathematical knowledge. Thank you for watching.